it is almost impossible for a Mid-American Conference opener to go any better. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. He's Rob Cornelius. Happy New Year. Happy Mid-American Conference season. And happy cats. Paint it green and white. 89-58 the final. From start to finish, it was a blow away against the Broncos of WMU. Yeah, hot start. Ohio hits their first four threes. Hits a bunch of those in the first half. More importantly, plays great defense. Holds Western to right around 30% in the first half. Just over that for the whole game. And goes on to play at both ends and win this one going away. Almost scored 90. Kept the opposition under 60. Shot like crazy. Um, shared the sugar quite yep. often. Um, this was, in my mind, Ohio's best performance of the year. Yeah, right there. And you talked to Saul Phillips, and, and he and Tony Campbell said so the Sam Houston game was pretty good. But face facts, you mixed it around. Four stars and double figures, and this amazing yet odd stat line out of Gavin Block. Three points, eight assists, no turnovers. And it's a guy who at both ends is the glue. And as Saul says, look at the scoreboard. If he won, that means he did his job, and he had a great night as well. Tony Campbell had 16 points and 16 boards against these Broncos last year. 22-12 and 12 tonight, and in the zone from deep. Yeah, and did that in limited minutes. To his efficiency through the roof, hit some really deep threes, hit some corner threes. Ohio really stretched the court and was taking a lot of deep stuff early on and frankly hit most of it. Certainly did. Ohio's lead at halftime was, what, 21? And able to add on to that in the second half. Uh, the Broncos, you kept their top two scores really in check. Combined, Heyman and Wilder had 18. Yeah, you erased essentially Wilder, who might be the best one on one small player in this league, took him out of this game, held him to nine, and held Heyman as well to nine points. He's a guy 28 against Washington, a guy who wants to take a ton of shots. You stuck them both. Bobcats clearly were fired up by the fact that they felt that they should have had a better non conference record than they did. Eight and three is pretty good, but they felt that at the very least they should have been. 10 and 1, and so that charged them into conference play, and that will continue to fire them up, moving over towards Kent State, who won by 10 at home in their MAC opener over Ball State tonight. Yep, and offense played very, very well. It was offensive inconsistency that frankly cost Ohio in those three December losses. Better tonight, and the defense gets better every week. Essentially, you're sitting 50th in the country or better now, holding teams in this field goal percentage and two point field goal percentage. I'm interested to see how this plays out on Friday because Kent State does not shoot the ball well. No. Um, they beat Texas, but they didn't shoot well in that effort. No, they did. They bored like crazy. So how is Ohio going to perform on the glass against them? Um, this thing is going to be a defensive test for Ohio. On You'd you like it to be. Obviously, Kent goes out and scores 100 points tonight, has a bunch of possessions. Yeah. But here's the deal. If Ohio gets enough defensive stops, runs a ton of possessions, has more fish on offense, they win that game, especially at home. Late night in the convo against Kent State. We've done that before, and that was a classic. You remember that a couple of years ago? Oh, man, that was a lot of fun. Hopefully it is again. It's on ESPN New on Friday night. We're on the air at 8.30 for a broadcast uh, on the Ohio IMG Sports Network. Our our recaps are supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. Happy New Year, Rob. Happy New Year. Fuller, louder on Friday. Get here and then listen to us, perhaps. Confetti flies as we start off league play. And a big-time win. Ohio had a lot. Western Michigan didn't. 89-58 the final. For Jason and the entire Bobcat TV crew and for Rob, I'm Russ. So long from Athens. This is Bobcat TV.